Welcome, welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway, the improvisation show which starts when the programme before it leaves off. And featuring tonight, uh, someone who can only be described as an old favourite, making a very welcome return to the show, the high and mighty Mike McShane. And somebody, oh no, let's crack on somebody who is rapidly becoming a new favourite on the show, a man with matinee idol good looks and matinee jackets to match, Brad Sherwood. And then our anti-post favourite star of stage, screen and zoo cage, the highly unlikely Colin Mockery. And then the best looking, most talented, most exciting... Oh, no, he's pulled out, as usual. It's Ryan Stiles, everyone, the contestants. Okay, now... We, uh, we start with a game called Questions Only. It's for all four contestants, but Mike and Brad begin it. And uh, they're going to be acting out a little scene, but they must only speak in questions. And if they go wrong, I'll buzz them out, and they're replaced by the two behind them. And the scene uh, I want you to do... Well, it's scenes from a passionate French love story. You can do it in English if you want, or French, but away you go. Do you remember the first time we met? My sir? Wasn't that before you were a Spice Girl? <laughs> do you still know the song that you would sing to me in bed as I lolled in the sheets like a love monk care? Wasn't it? <laughs> ah, my paprika, don't touch me there. <laughs> you must tease me like that. What a sexy woman you are. Uh, I, think that's, uh, that's, you're right. I think that's a question, that's just a, a comment. Uh, carry on. Have you seen my croissant? <laughs> Are you going to butter it on both sides and embarrass us all in this cafe? Isn't that the way you like it? <laughs> Do you know that I'm bored with you and that I am seeing another man? Are you Pierre? <laughs> am I Pierre and Vitoire? I wish I knew what that meant. <laughs> you're, you're okay. You're... Yes, keep... keep. Oh. Where did I go? <laughs> did you run and get me the gift from the chocolate shop? How could I forget? Are you not a man who keeps his promises? How rare you are. Are you going to kiss me now? Am I going to give you a tongue slaving? Yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm buzzing you out, Brad, to spare you further punishment. Go. Get in, Ryan. Get in there, Ryan. Are you next? <laughs> Did you have garlic for dinner? <laughs> Did you notice the flex? Notice? <laughs> <That's a point. laughs> have you seen my accent? <laughs> it's a small imperfect thing over here, you mean? That wasn't really a question, you were just pretending at the end. Avez-vous une cigarette? Who the hell are you? <laughs> okay, let's end there. Thank you very much. That's, um... Uh, I don't... I'm not sure. That was strangely uncomfortable, that game, for some reason. Uh, I'm scoring in Latin tonight, so it's IV each as we go on to sound effects for Colin and Ryan. Uh, now, I'll give Ryan the uh, microphone, and he's going to provide the sound effects for Colin as Colin goes through some sort of everyday activity. Well, it's not everyday. Uh, you're arriving at the honeymoon suite with your wife on your wedding night. So, <laughs> being an American, you wouldn't do that more than about 10 or 12 times in your life, so <laughs> away you go.
This doesn't seem right, but I'm winning at the moment. As we go on to a game called Number of Words. This is for all four contestants. And this is your scene. Uh, we've got Dr. Frankenstein, played by Ryan. He can only speak in sentences of three words long. Uh, his monster is Colin, obviously, and he speaks in sentences of two words. Mike, uh, who are you? You're Igor, one word at a time. And Brad, you have a whole five words to speak in your count as the chief of police. Five? Five words, so quite an extensive one for you. Uh, so away Stop you go. Voice. That sounds difficult. Uh, let's see if we can prove it is. Let him live! <laughs> it worked. Well, that was easy. <laughs> brain. We want too many brains. Refund. <laughs> one is enough. Dr. Frankenstein, you've done bad. <laughs> you are all under arrest. My monster lives. You we live. Your monster is an abomination. His name's Gary. <laughs> Gary. Gary, Gary. <laughs> He'll be president. No, he won't. He's freaky. <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Me! Ugly! No, you're not! Beautiful! <laughs> you're a real big freak, man! <laughs> Gary, come here! <laughs> Me, disappointed! No, Gary, no! <laughs> Expect her! <laughs> Gary! <laughs> Gary! You're beautiful! <laughs> to you, you're my son! I can't watch this stuff. Then go away. Come now. Get in car. Gary, attack him. You die. I speak like him now. <laughs> Me too. Sandwich. Oh. <laughs> well, well, I think within... we go on to a game called Hoedown. So if they don't come on down, they have to make up a song. In the form of a hoedown, with the assistance of Richard Ryan's piano. Uh, so, uh, somebody in the audience can suggest anything they like. Uh, something that makes you angry. Mother-in-law. Pasta. Pasta makes you angry. <laughs> 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 I, I, about a million suggestions there. The only one I could lip read was trousers. <laughs> tight, <laughs> well, tight, tight trousers. Tight trousers. So tight trousers. Clothing of all sorts. You can bung in there because okay. uh, you've got to have, get four verses out of this. There's only one rhyme for trousers in the entire English language. So away you go. Uh, the clothing, especially tight trousers, hold on. Starting with Mike Machine, down to Ryan, with Richard. Away you go. I'm a Western boy. I like my pants real tight. I like them long and lean and fitting just right. When I slip them on, they feel so nice and coolly. Especially when they've lynched me up and I'm pressed up against my ghoulies. <laughs> Pasta is religious. In fact, I think it's holy. I cover myself in marinara and pads of ravioli. I sometimes clean al dente with using it like floss, and sometimes I stir it in my pants to make the special sauce. Oh. I love wearing pants that are very, very tight. I wear them by circulation, but I don't... <laughs> when I go 
Hot club and my pants are mighty tight. Sometimes it gets me in many, many fights. Everybody looks at me, they go, you son of a gun. But I'm not actually wearing any, they're just painted on. 